This video provides instructions for teaching your patients how to drain in the comfort of their home or other outpatient setting. The procedure is straightforward and easy to follow. Fluid is drained using drainage bottles designed specifically for use with the Plurex catheter. These bottles come in two sizes, 500 milliliters and 1,000 milliliters. Bottles come as part of a drainage kit, which includes all the items needed to drain at home. The drainage bottle has a drainage line attached and will provide the suction required for drainage. Gloves, a new valve cap for the catheter, alcohol pads, and a clean dressing are included in the kit. There is also an emergency blue slide clamp, which should only be used if the catheter is cut, damaged, or leaking. The drainage kit is easy to use. Remind your patient to keep the access tip on the drainage line and the end of the catheter clean. Simply attach the vacuum bottle to the Plurex catheter using the drainage line. The vacuum bottle provides suction to drain the fluid. A clean, clear area on a table or a counter should be available. Instruct patients to remove rings and wash their hands thoroughly with soap and water, even though they will be wearing gloves. The dressing around the catheter should be removed and discarded. Inspect the area for redness and swelling at the catheter insertion site. If there is any redness or swelling around the catheter, finish this drainage and have the patient contact their doctor or nurse. Open the drainage kit bag and remove all of the items from inside. Open the procedure pack by peeling the front and the back apart. Set the adhesive dressing aside. Set the blue bundle on the workspace, keeping the folded side up. Unfold the blue wrapping. The inside of the blue wrapping provides a clean work area. Remind your patients that the items inside are sterile and should avoid being touched. Open the bag that contains the drainage bottle and set the bottle on the table. Remove the tape from the drainage line and set the access tip on the blue wrap near the other items. Open all three alcohol pads. Place them on the blue wrapping. Pick up a glove by the wrist and pull it on. Put on the second glove, again holding it by the wrist. Both gloves fit either hand. Remind your patients to keep gloves away from non-sterile items such as skin and clothing. Peel open the pouch with the valve cap and let the cap fall onto the blue wrapping. The cap will be used later. Tightly squeeze the white clamp on the drainage line so that it is completely closed. This clamp prevents the start of drainage until the patient is completely ready. Pick up the drainage line near the tip, twist the cover, and pull it off. The tip is sterile, so set the exposed tip on the blue wrapping near the sterile items. Holding the catheter near the end, remove the cap from the end of the catheter. An alcohol pad should be used to clean only around the opening. Putting anything inside the end of the catheter could damage the valve and allow air to enter or fluid to leak out. While holding the catheter, pick up the drainage line near the tip and insert the tip into the end of the catheter. When securely connected, a click should be heard and felt. There are two sizes of drainage bottles, 500 milliliters and 1,000 milliliters. Preparation and use of each bottle is the same. The following instruction applies to both kits. There is a vacuum inside the drainage bottle that provides suction to drain the fluid. The support clip on the drainage bottle ensures that the foil vacuum seal on the bottle is not broken until the patient is ready to drain. Steady the bottle with one hand and remove the support clip. Hold the white T plunger and push down to puncture the foil seal. Remember that the white clamp on the drainage line is still closed. Release the clamp to begin draining. It is normal to experience some pain or discomfort when draining, especially the first few times. Instruct your patient to close the white clamp to slow or stop the drainage for a few minutes. 
If they don't feel better after doing this, have them contact their nurse or doctor. Drainage may be completed if the patient is not too uncomfortable. It usually takes only 5 to 15 minutes to complete the drainage. The flow will probably slow when drainage is almost finished. When the flow stops or when the bottle is filled, squeeze the white clamp on the drainage line closed. If a second bottle is needed for any reason, disconnect the first bottle and follow the instructions for connecting a new bottle. The catheter tip does not need to be cleaned between bottles. Do not drain more than 1,000 milliliters from the chest at any one time. Do not drain more than 2,000 milliliters from the abdomen at any one time. To disconnect the drainage bottle from the catheter, hold the drainage line near the access tip and the catheter near the end. Pull the access tip out of the catheter. Clean around the opening of the catheter with an alcohol pad and twist the new cap into place. A slight click will be heard and felt as the cap locks. Clean the skin around the catheter with the last alcohol pad. Place the foam pad around the catheter. Wind the catheter in loops and hold it on top of the foam pad. Then place the gauze pads over the catheter. It may be necessary to remove the gloves before applying the adhesive dressing. Peel the larger of the two pieces of paper from the back of the adhesive dressing. Center the dressing over the gauze pads and press it down. There is a plastic covering over the adhesive dressing. To remove it, start at one of the corners where the paper backing is still in place. Bend the covering back and pinch the paper and the dressing to separate them from the cover. Peel off the plastic covering, remove the remaining paper, and press the dressing down. To empty the bottle, push down on the white T plunger and move it in a circle to make the opening in the foil seal larger. To open the bottle, remove the flexible cap with the drainage line attached. Place your thumb on the edge of the cap and push sideways and down into the bottle opening to loosen the cap from the rim. Grasp the cap and pull it away from the bottle top. Empty the bottle into the toilet or sink. Place the empty bottle in a plastic bag and discard it.